In this video, I'm going to cover the menu system for Devo 2.0. Uh, this applies to firmware versions 104. See the firmware version when you power up Devo and it's going through the prove out screen. Press and release the mode button once and the firmware version is displayed. The default settings are with voltage loss on and load on. To navigate through the menus, Devo uses short presses where you press and immediately release the mode button and long presses where you press and hold the mode button until an action is performed, then release. There are two menus, a quick menu and a main menu. In the quick menu, you can change the way the positive channel displays voltage, and you can cycle between loaded voltage drops or computer safe mode. In the main menu, you can also change the way the positive channel displays voltage, as well as cycle between loaded voltage drops or computer safe mode. You can also turn the LEDs on or off, turn on min-max mode, and save custom settings. Let's dive into the quick menu. Short pressing the mode button changes how the positive channel displays voltage. When you see VLOS on the screen, the value shown is how much voltage is being dropped or lost across the circuit. Short press the mode button, and now you only see V on the screen. This is the available voltage in a circuit. To help understand the difference between these two, let's say that you have 12.6 volts at the battery. You have a wire that goes to your AC compressor. The wire has some corrosion in it, so it's losing three volts. That means at the AC compressor, you would only have 9.6 volts. Now the three volts that you dropped across the wire is your V loss. The 9.6 volts is your available voltage at the AC compressor. You can cycle between V loss and V anytime you want. It makes no difference on testing and is personal preference. Sometimes you may wanna see the voltage dropped in a circuit, and sometimes you wanna see the voltage available at a component. Keep in mind that this only affects the positive channel. Long pressing the mode button switches between loaded voltage drops or computer safe mode. When load is displayed on the screen, Devo automatically performs loaded voltage drops for all the tests you make. To switch to computer safe mode, press and hold the mode button until load flashes, then release. Load is no longer displayed on the screen and Devo is now in computer safe mode. To go back to loaded voltage drop testing, press and hold the mode button until load flashes, then release. To access the main menu, press and hold the mode button for about five seconds until set appears on the screen. You are now in the main menu. Quick pressing the mode button cycles between the six menu settings. These include loss, load, LED, min max, exit, and default. To change a menu setting, press and hold the mode button until the setting changes, then release. The first menu setting is loss. This changes how the positive channel displays voltage and is the same as the quick menu control of cycling between voltage dropped or voltage available in a circuit. The default is on. To turn it off, press and hold the mode button until off is displayed. If you change this in the quick menu, it will also change it here in the main menu. The second menu option is load. Default this on, allowing you to perform loaded voltage drop tests. To turn it off, press and hold the mode button until off is displayed. Devo is now in computer safe mode. This is also the same setting that can be controlled in the quick menu. If you change this in the quick menu, it will also change it here in the main menu. The third menu option is LED control. The default is on and means that the LEDs will be on. To turn the LEDs off, press and hold the mode button until off is displayed. When you exit the main menu, all LEDs will be off. The fourth menu option shows MM, which stands for min max. The default is off. To turn min max on, press and hold the mode button until on is displayed. When you exit the main menu, you will now be in min max mode. The fifth menu option is exit. Press and hold the mode button to exit the main menu. If you don't want to exit the main menu, quick press and release the mode button to cycle to the next menu option. The sixth menu option shows DEF, which stands for default. This is how you can save your preferences as the default every time you power on Devo. When no is displayed, any changes you make in the main menu will only affect that session. Once power is removed from Devo, those changes are lost. For example, I'm going to turn loss off, keep load on, and set LEDs off. I exit the main menu and you can see the changes I made took effect. When I remove power from Devo and reconnect, none of the changes I made were saved. You can see losses back on and so are the LEDs. 
if I wanted to change the default settings, so every time Devo Power is on, my personal settings come up, press and hold the mode button until yes is displayed, then cycle to exit. Press and hold the mode button to exit the main menu. You can see my changes took effect. I'll remove power, then reconnect, and my personal settings are restored. You can see loss remained off, and the LEDs are off as well. Now, if you've changed a bunch of settings and you have absolutely no idea what you've done and you just want to reset everything back to the factory default, in the default menu, press and hold the mode button until yes is displayed and then release, and then press and hold the mode button again until RES appears and then release. This stands for reset, and this will erase your personal settings and reset to factory default. Cycle to exit and exit the main menu. I'm going to give an overview of the min-max mode and go in-depth in other videos. Now, what's cool about the min-max mode is that you are recording the minimum and maximum values for all three channels at the same time. When you set min-max to on and then exit the main menu, you will now be in the min-max mode. Quick pressing the mode button cycles through current live values, minimum recorded values, maximum recorded values, and the option to clear recorded values. Every time you cycle between these, Devo will briefly show you what you're looking at and then show you the values. When you reach the clear screen, if you don't want to clear the recorded values, quick press the mode button to circle back to the current live values. If you want to clear the recorded values, in the clear screen, press and hold the mode button until CLR flashes, then release. All segments illuminate and LEDs go green to indicate the recorded values have been cleared. Devo is still in min-max mode, and all the settings you had are the same. Devo goes back to showing you the current live values. A few things to note with the min-max mode. The quick menu options are not available in min-max mode. However, you can still access the main menu by pressing and holding the mode button for approximately five seconds. If you access the main menu, exit min-max mode, or disconnect power from Devo, the recorded values will be lost. Devo's continuously recording data in all the min-max views, including when you're in the clear screen. No values are recorded while in the main menu. That concludes the overview for the menu system on Devo. Thanks for watching, and let us know if you have any questions.